G'day everyone, this is James from Fix It Fingers Woodworking and I'm here today for Carbotech and Craig Australia to take you through two Craig products that I've recently added to my workshop, show you how to install them, show you what they can do for you and show you just how damn useful that they can be. We are of course talking about the Craig Bench Vice system which I have installed on the end here and the Craig Clamp Track system which I have running along the top of my new workbench here. If you're interested in how to build yourself a clamping table to install this hardware in, then head over to the Fix It Fingers channel where recently I put up a video on building this exact workbench. You can of course buy one pre-made from Carbotech, however A, where's the fun in that, and B, you can make one to fit your exact workspace, which is why I made this one. Enough jibber jabber, let's take a look at some lovely blue hardware. Right, so let's start with the Bench Vice system and you get a few things in that box. Firstly, of course, the lovely blue anodized aluminium face plate to go on the side or end of your bench. A couple of bench dogs, which will fit in the dog holes like that. A three inch bench Craig clamp, which can slide in either one of those tracks depending on what type of clamping you're doing. It is of course the Automax variety too. And a couple of these little plates, which have T-bolts on the back, which slide into your bench plate like this, which then when you tighten them down, can provide support at a few different heights for the timber that you're trying to rest on there. Let's take a quick look at the installation. So unless you have a very thin edge, about 40 mil on your bench, you're gonna have to rebate away a little bit of the side. On mine, I could take it over to the router and clear out this space very quickly. After that you can simply place the vise into position, mark out the holes, drill them, attach it to your bench temporarily, use a knife or a pencil to mark out the edges, use something handy like a clamping bench to hold it in place, set the depth of your router and hog out most of the material. Clean up the edges with a saw and a chisel and reattach to your bench nice and flush. This will allow you to clamp long pieces supported by the full length of the bench. But we are not done yet. The vise works best in conjunction with some 19 mm 3 quarter inch dog holes. Carefully mark them out, drill some pilots, and then a forstner bit from the top is probably the best way. I only had a spade bit so I came from underneath as not to tear everything out. A quick little round over on the top of those holes and you're pretty much done. Now those dogs did fit in very nice and here's a demo of how you can use the vise. Obviously how we saw before you can put it that way. Automax adjust to the width that way or you're popping your dogs and you can use those to hold too. Kevin Zander he can come out and do the whole top now. Move your dog to the appropriate place and your big sheets can be done as well. A bit of freehand routing, put a straight edge on there to cut a dado, whatever you need to do, it's going to be awesome. Now it ain't just the small stuff. And it holds it well. Now you see here, it's actually sitting below the bench, which is not fantastic. But you can move those black stops and also turn them upside down for a variety of different heights to bring the edge above the edge of your bench. Obviously this relies on the piece being longer than the bench from the dog, so there if it's too short, move your dogs in a bit and you can hold it nice and tight. A lot of flexibility. Okay, that's the vise. Now let's look at the clamp track. Now I will point out straight away, when you buy the clamp track, you only get the track. These two pieces of blue, very heavy duty anodized aluminium. You must buy the clamps separate. This is the one that came with my bench vise, so there's a good tip. And then I picked up one of the long reach six inch clamps as well. You could of course get more. These also I have taken from the vise, which is why I bought them together, because the systems just work so well hand in hand. And if you don't get the vise, then you have to buy these bits separately. Much better value for a two-in-one. Disclaimer, the way that I installed these is not exactly according to manufacturer's instructions. I made it a little bit tricky for myself. However, let's take a peek at how you can put these onto any bench. 
So before I start breaking the rules, it's best to understand and read them. Particularly, the positions of the holes are rather important, as are their spacings. So mark them out very, very carefully. Rule number one I'm breaking is my bench isn't wide enough, so I have to cut down one of the tracks, but this will give me a third anchor point. Your regular woodworking blade can go through them carefully. The Craig Multimark is great for positioning those holes, as is using an awl to get your drill started. Drill out those anchor bolt holes. And leave an overhang. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. I had to countersink because my bench top is flush with my frame. I also only used 18mm melamine, whereas you're supposed to use 3 quarter inch 19mm stock. So I had to route out a little recess for my tracks to sit in so everything would remain flush at the end of the day. Plop through all of your bolts, thread the tracks on, but only tighten them down lightly to begin with. Repeat for the second long track. Then use a big square to get things looking schmick and tighten from underneath. Position and reattach your bench, and you can leave it in this orientation with the tracks proud on the bench top. Use some pocket holes to tighten it down from the edge. Great, so you got them installed or you just bought the pre-made lovely package. Being a Craig product, it's probably very unsurprising that the first application that I've got for this clamping system is pocket hole joinery. If you're leaving your bench in this orientation, then it is very easy to square up your joints, position your pocket holes, put down the clamp so it won't be in the way of the driver, and that's simple and easy. Being Automax, of course it doesn't matter what size you are using, it will adjust automatically to the thickness of your timber. But for me, I want the bench to be smooth on top. So I added a second piece, screwed it in from underneath, and attach some trim around the outside. That's a nice flush top. But your square track is still square, so using the black stops from the vise, you can achieve the same effect. Might even get two more of these, make it even more stable. One lovely pocket hole joint. And it doesn't end there. There are gonna be a heap of ways you're gonna discover on how to use this bench. I've only had it a short while, and I'm still coming up with new things every day. You can hold down large flat pieces, this is a fun one. If you've got a long piece that you want to crosscut with your Craig Portable Crosscut, you can use my third anchor point to hang it over the edge. Grab your cut guide, grab your saw, and nip off the end without destroying your bench top. I'm sure you'll come up with heaps more ways too. The flexibility of the system is one of its big selling points. You can even clamp down your pocket hole jig. Brilliant. Well, there you go, guys. There's an overview of how to install and what the Craig Bench Vice and Clamp Track systems can do for you. And I'm sure there are plenty more uses once you've got them working in your shop. They're wonderful additions for fix-it fingers. Again, if you want to see how to build this bench, head over to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the Carver Check channel and check the links below to be able to pick up and purchase all of the lovely hardware here from Craig from Carver Tech. Don't forget that if you get the tracks, they come separately. So chuck one in your trolley too. I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.